Today in the seniors group, the theme was Columbus Day. So the conversation, the activities revolved around the voyage that Christopher Columbus made in 1492 and how we got here today by his expedition for better and for worse. So that put me in mind of some excursions in the Bible. God sent people on journeys that they might not have been expecting, such as Abram, told by the Lord to go to a land that he would be shown, a land far away from his family and friends, his ordinary way of life, a great adventure for Abram to pick up his family and go according to the Lord's direction. Moses also was told by the Lord to go, go to Pharaoh and demonstrate to him God's power to deliver his people from slavery, to bring them out of Egypt. Following Moses, Joshua was told to go. He was the one that actually led the people into Canaan, the land of promise, a land flowing with milk and honey. He was given that direction, that mission by God. Jonah also was given a mission. Jonah was told to go to the people of Nineveh and proclaim God's law to them to lead them to repentance and salvation. You're probably familiar with that story. Jonah resisted but eventually he came to his senses and went to Nineveh and preached according to God's commission. Jesus also gave the great commission, go into all the world and make disciples, and very specifically to his own disciples in Acts 1. He told them that they would be sent out from Jerusalem to Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth as witnesses to the risen Christ. Paul, the Apostle Paul, of course, picked up that mantle or was and that mantle was placed on him and he was sent to be an ambassador of the gospel to the Gentiles. There were times when Paul had a sense of where he was supposed to go and the spirit of Jesus would prevent him and say, no, you're not going there. You're not going there. I have other plans for you. And on one occasion, it was through a vision where a man from the area of Macedonia said, we want you to come to us. And God worked through that also to uh, put Paul into motion for the sake of the gospel. So as that comes around to us today, perhaps you can look back on your life and see the twists and turns, the moves that you made, the places you've lived and gone, and how God was directing that, and how he intended to use that to lead you according to his purpose. And of course, today, we want to be responsive to that, to hear the Lord's call to be obedient to Christ's commission and to offer ourselves for the Lord's purposes, where he wants to take us, how he wants to use us, knowing that all of our paths in Christ, directed by the Holy Spirit, lead into the everlasting presence of God. Amen.